Hello and welcome to a new video from Advanced Power Query Series, video APQ 0.2. Actually, this is the part 3 of the M language step by step or the beginner's guide for M language. In the previous two videos, we discussed the following topics. We had an introduction about the M language structure, the applied steps, expressions and values, value types in M language, and we did a deep dive into the value types. We discussed the primitive value, function value, and structure data values. And also we dig deeper into the structure data values when we spoke about list records and tables. In this video, we are going to have an example. We are going to build a query from scratch using the advanced editor. Actually, it is a very simple example. We are going to import commission data from Excel workbook and then we are going to calculate the commission. Actually, it is very basic task. You can do it using the user interface. However, for the purpose of learning, we are going to do it in the advanced editor. We are not going to use the user interface at all during this example. If you didn't manage to watch the first two parts, you will find a link now on top of the screen. You can start by watching part one, part two, and then this example, which is basically part three of a very small group of videos just focusing on M language step by step. In this Excel workbook, we have a table on the left hand side containing the sales data for four weeks. We have the week number, the amount and the rate. And the rate is nothing but the rate of the commission for each and every week. On the right hand side, we have another table containing the quantity and the cost. But we are not going to focus on this for this example, we are going to focus only on the table containing the data for the commission. The requirement is to use Power Query to add these two columns. First one containing the amount of commission, which is nothing but the multiplication of the amount times the commission rate, and also the commission percentage, which is basically the percent of the commission for each week over the total commission for the four weeks together. Meaning that if you look at the 500, it is 17.3% of the total commission for the four weeks, which is around 2,900 USD. We are going to start by sending this table to Power Query. I'm not going to use the normal shortcut from table range because I want to focus on the advanced editor. I won't use the user interface in any of the steps that I'm going to do. That's why I'm going to data ribbon, get data, and then from other sources, blank query, this will trigger the Power Query Editor. In the Power Query Editor, I have a blank query called Query1, the default name. I'm going to change this to something like Commission and then hit Enter. I'm going to View and then Advanced Editor and I'm going to start to write my query just from here. So I have the first step, which is basically the source. Let me get rid of these double quotations and I'm going to use the Excel.Current Workbook function this will bring all the content of the current workbook into power query no parameters required i'm going to open and close two brackets and then done and here you go you have all the content of this excel workbook as you can see i have two columns first one containing the content and this content nothing but the data inside this excel workbook if you check the first table you will see the sales and the commission if you check the other table you will see the cost and the quantity and you'll find the name of each and every table here commission and cost i want to focus on the data in the first row which is basically the commission data so and as we learned in the previous video we are going to use the curly bracket and the position of the record inside this table in order to extract the record i'm going back to advanced editor and just after the function excel.current workbook, I'm going to use the curly brackets and then zero and then done. And let's see what will happen. The entire query will be converted into a single record, the record containing the table. You can see the data just down here. And also you have the name, which is basically commission. This is sufficient for this purpose. However, what if I want to search the name commission rather than selecting the first record of the table? I can go back to the advanced editor from view advanced editor and instead of just writing 
the number zero which is representing the first row of this table i'm going to delete and then i'm going to use the square bracket and the square bracket in this case is not the field access operator actually it is the lookup operator so i'm going to write the name of the field which is basically name and then equal and between double quotes i'm going to write the name of the table which is basically commission and then done and let's see what will happen it will give me exactly the same result however it will always find the commission table regardless of its position inside the original table after reaching this stage i want to focus only on the field content not the entire record so i'm going back to advanced editor and at the end of this step i'm going to open another square bracket but this time the square bracket is the field access operator so i can just write content and then done and here you go you have the data of the table this is exactly what's happening when you try to use the from table range button inside the data ribbon on the get and transform section this is exactly what is happening when you try to do so but here for the purpose of learning we just try to build it step by step The next step is to change the column data types. You can see that all the columns has the any data type. I need to specify each and every one. In order to do so, I'm going back to the advanced editor and I'm going to define a new variable or a new step. So I'm going to add comma here and enter. Let me add a new variable called change type and then equal. I'm going to use a function called table to transform column types and then i'm going to open a bracket and let's see what exactly required for this function the first requirement is table as a table in our case the table is coming from the previous step which is basically the source so i'm going to write source and then comma and the second requirement is type transformation as list so i need to add a list of the transformation required for each and every column in order to do so let's check our columns how many columns i have i have three columns this means that i'm going to create a list and inside this list i will have three lists and each and every one of the small lists contains pair of information the first part will be the name of the column and then the required transformation so let's start together i'm going to open curly bracket inside this pair of curly brackets i'm going to add another curly bracket and let's start by the first column the name of the first column is week between two double quotes i'm going to write week and then comma that transformation required is to change this into text so i'm going to write type and then space and text you can see that both words are known by power query the keyword type is known and also the type text is known and you can see it's already colored by blue and by green so it's known you can just write this and the power query will understand that you want to change the type of the column week into text outside the this pair of curly bracket i'm going to add a comma and then another pair of curly brackets the next column is amount so double quote and amount and then comma that transformation required is type and then number again type is known and also the type number is known and this is nothing but the decimal type of numbers and then again another comma after the second pair of curly brackets and one more time i'm going to open curly brackets this time i need to change the type of the column rate so double quote and rate and then comma i need to make this as percentage so i can type percentage and then type this is a little bit different you have to write percentage dot type as you can see on the screen right now finally i need to change the variable after the in keyword to be change type i'm going to copy and then paste and then done and here you go the three columns types changed to text decimal number and percentage now we are ready to start our calculation we need to add a column here and this column should calculate the commission for each and every week in order to do so we need to add a column in order to add a column we are going to use a function called table.addColumn I think it's very descriptive the name of the function talking about how it works so I'm going back to advanced editor after the previous step I'm going to add comma and then enter 
and let's call this step commission calc and then equal and I'm going to use the table dot add column function and let me open a bracket and see what exactly required the first required is table as a table the table should be the output of the previous step or the previous variable which is basically the change type so I'm going to write change type and then comma second requirement is the name of the new column between double quote I'm going to add the new name which is basically commission comma and the third requirement is column generator as a function what is the function or the expression you're going to use in order to calculate the new column basically I want to multiply the column amount times the rate amount so I'm going to use the square bracket in order to specify the column that I want to use the first column will be amount and then times open again square bracket and rate I think so far is not bad but let's think about it again I need each and every amount from the column amount to be multiplied by the correspondent rate from the column rate in order to tell power query so I need to use the keyword each so I'm going to write each just before the amount times rate and then I'm going to change the variable after the in keyword to be commission calc done and here you go you have the new column calculating the commission the only thing required here is to change the type I'm not going to add a new step and instead I'm going back to the advanced editor and I'm going to use the fourth argument of table.add column which is basically specifying the column type so I'm going to add a comma here and I'm going to type type and then space and number one more time this is the decimal number and when you check back here you will find that the column type is 1.2 which is basically decimal number the final step is to calculate the commission of each and every week to the total commission of the four weeks together so I need to start by adding the column of the commission in order to do so let me go back to advanced editor I'm going to add a new step comma and enter let me call this total com or total commission and then equal I'm going to use a very very basic function called list.sum and I think from the name of the function you know exactly what it will do it will sum a list or sum a column so I'm going to open a bracket and let's look at the requirement the requirement is list as a list so the list I need to sum is basically the list of the commission that I have here it is inside a table and the table is inside the previous variable or the previous step which is basically commission calc so I'm going to type commission calc and then I need to specify the list or the column that I want to sum which is basically the commission column then I need to change the variable after in to be tot commission or tot com which is basically the variable for total commission and then done and here you go the entire query changed into one single value which is basically the total of the commission column the very final step is to go back to the previous step which is basically the table that contains the commission calculation and then add another column and in this additional column we're going to calculate the percent of the commission over the total commission of the month or total commission of the four weeks and this is basically the division of each and every item of this commission column over the outcome of the next step which is basically the total commission in order to do so I'm going back to the view and then advanced editor and let me add another variable or another step this variable will be commission percent and then equal let me use again the table dot add column and then open a bracket and let's see the requirement first requirement is table table should come from the commission calc because the, the very previous step is total commission it is nothing but a single value so I'm going to take commission calc and then control V here is the table the input of the table and then comma the next requirement is the new column name between double code I'm going to write com and percent and then comma and finally the column generator function or the column generator expression this will be basically the division of each and every amount of this column over the content of the previous step which is basically a single value representing the total commission so I'm going to start by writing the keyword each because when I try to describe this I said each and every amount of the commission and then I'm going to add a square bracket and specify the commission column and then I'm going to use the division operator and then use the tot com step 
which contains the total commission let me change the variable after in to be com percent and then done and here you go you have a new column containing the commission percentage i need one more time to change the type i'm not going to add a new step i'm going back to the advanced editor and i'm going to capitalize on the fourth argument of the table.add column which is basically the column type i'm going to type percent dot type and then done and here you go now the query is ready home close and load close and load two let me select existing worksheet and table and let's put it in column c and click on ok and here you go you need just very quick number formatting for amount and commission i'm going to use currency and for rate and commission i'm going to use the percent and i'm going to add one decimal place and i'm just done i did a query to calculate the commission and the percent of commission to the total commission it's very very basic and very very easy however we managed to do it 100 percent from the advanced editor we didn't touch the user interface at all and this is only for learning purposes that was all for today the end of today's video and also the end of the set of the three videos talking about m language step by step or what i call it the beginner's guide for m language if you like this video please like it subscribe and leave a comment and wait me in the next videos thank you very much for your time and see you and bye